uh, the station. robotic arm, the Canadarm2, uh, reached over and has grappled uh, the grapple fixture on the top of the Leonardo multipurpose logistics module. Uh, that uh, grapple occurred at 3.08 uh, p.m. Central Time uh, under the guidance of uh, pilot Kevin Ford of Discovery and uh, station flight engineer Mike Barrett, who are working at the robotics workstation in the Destiny Laboratory of the International Space Station. The mechanical systems officer now reports that uh, all of the payload retention latches have been released. So Leonardo is in the grasp uh, now solely of the Canadarm2 with Kevin Ford and Mike Barrett at the controls at the robotics workstation as they prepare to lift Leonardo vertically out of the payload bay. Very tight clearances here, so it will be a slow and methodical operation. You've got to go for MPLM on berth. Copies go for MPLM on birth. Good view of the Leonardo multipurpose logistics module at the low hover position, firmly in the grasp of the Canadarm2 being operated uh, from the Destiny Laboratory by Discovery pilot Kevin Ford and Expedition 20 flight engineer Mike Barrett. You can see uh, at the top of your screen, at the very uh, rear of Discovery's cargo bay, that is the brand new ammonia tank assembly on. Uh, a truss carrier that is the ammonia tank assembly that will be uh, removed from that uh, pallet during the second of the three spacewalks to be conducted on this mission. The robotics officer in the uh, station flight control room reports uh, that the Leonardo multipurpose logistics module is now at the pre-install position, basically uh, at the correct uh, height uh, to match uh, the alignment of its common berthing mechanism. Basically, you're looking at that uh, right at the forward end of Leonardo uh, to the uh, comparable androgynous uh, common berthing mechanism on the Harmony connecting node. Sounds great. Thanks for the help. Anytime. Have a good day. The robotic systems officer in the ISS flight control room reports that Leonardo is now being moved to the ready to latch position. Once uh, Leonardo has been uh, placed into the capture position uh, with the two common berthing mechanisms aligned, 
the commanding that uh, initiates the bolting of Leonardo in place uh, involves four gangs of four bolts apiece, a total of 16 bolts. Once uh, we reach uh, the call out uh, from the station flight control room that we have second stage capture that will indicate that uh, Leonardo is firmly mated uh, to the Harmony connecting node. This view from the uh, common berthing mechanism camera system is providing a visual cue for Kevin Ford and Mike Barrett. Houston Station on the Big Loop for Robotics. We see ourselves with four good RTLs who are giving a go for the first stage capture to the CDM operator. Copy and concur from Houston. Mike Barrett indicating that uh, with four good ready-to-latch indicators, uh, Tim Copra now uh, will begin to work uh, along with Krister Fugelsang in sending commands to, to begin the bolt loading or the uh, the beginning uh, the initiation uh, to have the bolts, uh, the 16 bolts and the circumference around the common berthing mechanism begin to latch correctly. Fully loaded uh, with almost eight tons of cargo, Leonardo uh, in the process of uh, being bolted into place and uh, a good first stage capture now reported by the mechanical systems officer in the International Space Station Flight Control Room. The commands uh, to bolt uh, Leonardo in place uh, being sent uh, by Tim Copra and Krister Fugelsang while the uh, robotic arm uh, continues uh, to hold firmly onto Leonardo's grapple fixture under the control of Kevin Ford and Mike Barrett. Second stage capture uh, continues. Uh, the uh, bolt uh, driving uh, now in progress.